I'm not worried about a thing, seeing as to how I'm on the high ground with a loaded weapon. Okay. I can't run. I can't run because of my limb damage. Are they behind us? Doc! I think they got Doc! Okay, we still got two left. We still got two left. Okay. Watch for movement. Watch out. Watch for movement. Watch out. Watch out. Oh god, that's not a toilet, is it? Watch out. When you said watch for movement, Russell, you didn't mean. Whoa. Watch out. Whoa. Um. Come out with your hands up. Whoa. And preferably washed. Yippee! There'll be no wedding Watch out! And Watch out! We're back. Whoa! Whoa! In a very strange Whoa. situation. Watch out! Whoa! Stranger than normal. Whoa! Watch we out! Seem to have a man who has locked Whoa. himself in the toilet. Watch out! Okay, we. Whoa! We're here mm. to collect a bounty, Watch and out. we got ambushed. Dark. I think... Whoa. Oh, God, I think we've lost Doc. I think we lost Doc. Whoa. God damn it. Come on. Crippled. Watch out. I think Watch we out. lost him. I saw him go down, I think. Oh, for... Did I see... He is, he's dead. Oh, oh, God. My head, my head, my head, my head. Okay, okay. I think I saw another one. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Crippled head. Is there any more? Four. No more? What about over there? You know, when Doc went down, he was running in this direction. I think he was shooting. Alright, I think... Russell? Russell! Oh, no, 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 come on. Dude, swivel on a stick or whatever it was. Maybe I'm just jumping. Okay. Who's there? Okay, no, it's the guy downstairs. It's the guy in the toilet. That's the guy in the toilet. We can't. I can't get down that way, Russell. Can you, can you come this way? Are you stuck up there? Oh, Russell, we lost Dark. Anybody there? We lost Dark. Oh. Oh. You know what? I was giving some thought to actually letting you stay in the toilet and leaving you alone, like maybe you'd learnt your lesson. You know what? Okay. That's not a toilet. Never mind! Oh. God damn it. This totally sucks. 
Russell, will you bloody well come down here? Yeah, show some respect. Oh, we can't leave him here. Oh. Russell, stop being a pain in the backside and come and help me. Oh, we are not leaving him here. Fine. Let's get this guy's finger for the bounty and then let's let's take Doc somewhere. Where the hell was that? It's a gang member. Where's Where's the guy we came to shoot in the first place? Okay, there's a bit of him. This really sucks, mate. This really, really sucks. Not a noise. <sighs> Just jump off, mate. Just drop. You'll be fine. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Oh, I don't tell this the wrong way, Doc, but I... people are just going to rob you of this weapon anyway. Why didn't you shoot any of the good bullets I gave you, dude? <sighs> didn't really know him very well. I'd only just sort of got him to tag along. He was... Well, he was a gentleman, wasn't he? He definitely deserved better than this. We need to find somewhere. I don't just leave him here, like... Is there anywhere around here we can bury him, or at least... Leave him with some dignity, I mean... There were some graves in that direction, weren't there? Or... There's a ranch over there, but I think it's filled with raiders. Oh, hello. What about that one? No, there's raiders over there too. Now that's the Electro City Engineers and a mercenary or a guard or something. Just... I want to leave him somewhere Somewhere nice. Keep it. Oh, I have a feeling that might be the place we're looking for, the bunker. We... Can we take him closer to Freeside? I just... I wish we could take him back to Good Springs. But that is one hell of a walk, and for some strange reason, we can't, uh, take him in the van. Okay, this is really just not dignified, is it? Excuse me, Doc. Just... Eh. Okay, this... Doc was shooting in that direction, wasn't it?
I have a feeling that was the one that killed Doc. Shut up. Oh. Isn't that my orphanage? Yeah, I probably want to leave him somewhere nicer than that. What about... What about... In a park or something? I mean, it's not... I mean, the problem is, is scavengers are going to get him. I want to bury Doc. I'd like to bury Doc in Good Springs. Okay, that's just... Okay. He just looks like he's going to try and get up, doesn't he? Okay, Doc. Just... I just... I need you to just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's not that bad here, is it? I mean... You want to say something? It's just... Like... I'm not singing or anything like that. Okay, that was weird and uncomfortable, wasn't it? You know what? Let's go off and find that Fisk and shoot him. That's what Doc would want. Maybe. I mean, no idea what Doc would want. But it's what I would want. I would want somebody to go off and shoot somebody on my behalf. A villain. He liked shooting villains, didn't he? I'm going to have a drink for him. Give me a sec. There you go. Man should have a bottle of whiskey. He just should. He's got a gun in his hand and a bottle of whiskey by his side. And he's got his hat. All things considered, there are less dignified ways of dying. So was it here? It really, really did look. Not a noise. Yeah. Doesn't really look like a bunker, does it? Does it look like a bunker to you? I mean, it looks like a rundown piece of crap shack, actually. Keep out. Haven't we been here? I'm pretty sure we've been here. I don't think this is a bunker. Uh, i tell you what it is. It's a place with... Leech, what is it with these guys at the moment? Okay. It's too quiet. I was wondering. Oh god. Got a round. Whoa! I missed the second shot. Did miss the third one. Just wonder... It's... Why has the music turned itself off? Okay. Thought it was a bit quiet. Well, apart from the, you know, bleeding and the gunfire and the sounds of dying legionaries. Legionnaires. Legionaries? Le whatever. Nobody cares. Men in skirts. That's the second assassins group that has, no, attacked us in a few hours, really. 
What is going on? Are they trying to make up for lost time, do you think? I, I can't, I just can't leave the purified water there. I just, I just, I can't do it. Okay. That might be a teeny weeny bit on the loud side. It's a rock, it's a rock. Healing powder, probably should actually take some of that. Venom, frag grenade, okay. Let's take some healing powder. Did you actually shoot there, by the way? I'm getting a little worried about... Are you accidentally in true passive mode? True passive mode until hit. No, that's what it is. Until hit or player attacks. It's because I've updated. And here's me blaming you for acting all weird. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Memo to self when updating a mod. Check the settings. Memo to Jack. Where the hell's the bunker? Okay. According to this, it's over this way. Which is strange. Oh, is it going to be one of those bunkers you get to through a manhole? Or a small plant? I'm going to guess not a small plant. Cacti. Okay. What the hell is that? That's our, that's our orphanage. This man's got his... Bunker right next to my bloody orphanage. Okay, Russell. I've discovered something. I don't quite know what I've discovered. I'm going to guess it's that. Right, you. Come here. I'm going to put you... Come here, come here, come here. Come to a little closer. Nice, nice. Right. Stay here. Uh, good. And be aggressive. The gaps. I kill more than you. If I come running out of there screaming, I'm going to hold you to that. I really, really am. All right. Are we locked and loaded? Five shots, really? Okay. Pay attention. Whiskey and water. I should just automatically drink. Okay. There you are. It's safe. Lead on. It's your call. Yeah, I might need your input on this. Because it looks like... Okay. Any ideas? Okay. Garth. Somebody called Garth has left a note. Ridiculous. Okay. What was that?
Yeah, you know what usually happens? Secretary. Oh, God. God. Pencil. No notes. And another guard. They've been looted of their weapons, I notice. Reloading bench. Steel. That's considered stealing. The gun cabinet's also considered stealing. That's a shame, isn't it? Really is. Purified. Actually, we don't need empty syringes either. Oh, look at it. Requires key. Requires key. You know what it usually means when it requires a key? Hello. Mr. Fisk, I assume. Nervous. Um, Let's just read these notes first. Miscellaneous. Garth. I met with Garth. He tried to get tough, so I cut off his ears. You should know better than to try strong arming me, Fisk. You ever pull some shit like that again? I'll come down to that nice, clean bunker and scalp you and your pretty secretary. Sergio's coming, old man. You better run while you have the chance. Who there? Okay. Was that... was that... Red Bear? That sounded kind of Red Bearish. Fisk, one of my constituents, insists that she saw her former captor and tormentor, Arthur Ribbon. That senile cow was practical, practically hysterical, as if the devil himself had moved into the Mojave. I blew her off, naturally, but since she was so damned earnest about it, I have to ask, is Arthur Ribbon really here? I know you're going to laugh at my question, but that old fool almost has me convinced. Furthermore, she claimed he lived in Novak. Novak? Preposterous. Anyway, your last donation will be fine for my campaign. Thanks, your help, best, Clay. Okay. Why aren't you... Thank you. Nervous. Tyler. Mr. Kagan has decided to readmit me into the syndicate, so I will be returning the men you so graciously lent me. I will also dispatch the compensation we discussed. Thank you for your timely assistance. I believe it factored into Khan's decision. And he doesn't have the stomach to begin a war against another partner in the syndicate. His representative is entering the bunker now. I'll tell you the rest in the next letter. Fisk. Okay, so there was a representative from the syndicate entering here. Yeah, you can look at me like that, mate, but reading notes tends to invite psychotic people. So the syndicate... Have you met the syndicate? Let me... What's up? I don't know if you've... Um, uh, I'd like to ask you something. Like what? Um, we already... Titus Vulcanus, didn't we kill him? Didn't we kill him? No, ever heard of a man named Marco? Yeah, I heard a few stories about him. Have I not asked you man this? man told me that Marco is the fastest pistol. And the purest killer alive. Maybe the devil himself. With the way stories travel through the wasteland, this guy's probably just some asshole with a mean stare and a gift for gab. Most so-called badasses are all talk, get flustered or nervous when you put the screws to them. Then again, there's always that chance. I've heard plenty of hunters say they do this or that to Marco, and the few that actually acted on it went after him? Gone. Somebody once told me that hell is here on Earth, and we're living in it. If that's the case, maybe Marco is the devil. Okay, see, this is why I don't ask you questions very often. All right, let's check, Mr. Fisk. Engraved harmonica. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's engraved with initials SB. Isn't that Sergio? No. Since it was undoubtedly inserted post-mortem, you should submit this evidence to Captain Skull. He was telling me what the about... Fuck oh, okay. Who the fuck are you? Hello? Um, who the hell are you? It's a good I question. 
the local Viper crew. We got hired by Mr. Fist to work his muscle. Since the things are getting hairy around here, you know? I show up and all I see is Mr. Fisk and his workers all deader than dog shit. You just nosing around the joint? I ain't gonna ask again. Who are you? What the fuck are you doing here, man? Better yet start explaining why Mr. Fisk is dead. Uh, my first guess is the gaping bullet hole in him. Uh, I'm not a doctor, but that's where I'd start. Uh, I'm an innocent contractor, I'm not looking for trouble. Um, that's stretching the truth to its absolute limits. I was sent here to investigate Mr. Fisk's murder. That is true. I don't have to explain myself to anyone. Asshole, get out of my way. Also very true. Vipers don't move for nobody, bitch. Okay, well, then... Oh, I put my gun away because I didn't want to upset. I didn't want to... There's a lot of them! And we're having... Okay, I'm reloading. Don't do, don't do, don't do. Not a noise. See, this is... Next time I talk to you, can I leave my gun out, please? I know you really don't like it and I don't play... Actually, when I talk to you, don't I automatically put my gun away? What's up? Nothing. No, I don't. Can I do that next time? I know it's rude. I really do. But... Who was it that put the harmonica in it? Was it Sergio? I can't remember. I really should pay attention to the things people say to me. Um, okay. Viper. Lead pipe. Really? You came in here with a lead pipe? It's stealing to take his carbine. Really, it's stealing. Well, I'm such a bad person, aren't I? I should be punished. Okay, that sounded rude. Um, oh, do I have, do I have a bounty on Luther? Or have I just got the option to take his fingernail because I've developed a really bad habit? Another really bad habit. Okay. Okay. And the desk. We had a locked desk. Okay, we got a new note. We have a new note. We have a new note. Okay. Fisk, after considering your appeal, I've decided to readmit you into the syndicate. However, this is your last chance. I will be sending a personal representative to convey my due directives for your business. Please ensure he is not shot by an overzealous guard. As I understand, you've augmented the bunker's security staff. Do not fail me again. Okay? You never know. People come barging in when I've read, read those um, notes. Seriously? I get bad karma for breaking into this man's desk. I get bad karma for breaking into this man's desk. Are you kidding me? Captain Ribbon. Okay. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. All right. Evidence you found undeniable proof of Arthur Ribbon's identity. You should confront him and present this evidence. All right. No added. Unacceptable. Whiskey has worn off. You're correct. That is indeed totally unacceptable. Fixed. Okay, um, Captain Ribbon. I used Captain Ribbon's alias as leverage to secure another hidden cache of Enclave munitions. He's been operating as Alan Rogers for several decades, so it was quite a shock to the old man when he learned we knew his identity all along. Strange to think he's been living in Novak all these years, right under the NCR's nose. He was more than willing to exchange information for NCR documentation. He's quite attached to that granddaughter of his. Maybe he's gone soft in his old age. It's hard to imagine. I scanned his dossier some time ago. It's fair to describe him as zealous in his younger days. Alan Rogers. That's not the guy that we met in Novak that sent us off looking for Bradley, is it? No, that can't be. That can't be. 
I believe he has information on more weapon stores, so I'd like to continue leveraging his identity when our need for munitions dictates it. We can always hurt the girl if he refuses to comply, but we can't allow him to fall into NCR custody in any sh case. Sugar will be ready if Ribbon's capture appears imminent. Sincerely, Judge Richter. Could it be? Because the Syndicate challenged us when we were working for... Unacceptable. Fisk, your performance in the past month has been abysmal. Besides uncalculated losses in assets, we've been deprived of several irreplaceable personnel, most notably Judge Richter. You have served the Syndicate well in the past, so I will give you one final opportunity to rectify your mistakes. Terminate Jack, restore our connections in the narcotics trade, and see to other affairs detailed in future letters. If you perform these duties with celerity and proficiency, I will reward you appropriately. Should you fail, and he did, the consequences will be dire. And they were. You will be cut off from the Syndicate and left to fend for yourself. I trust this ultimatum will provide proper motivation. K. Okay, seriously, with K. Who was the guy we killed after we kill after Bradley got killed? Because he attacked us. Was was the person we attacked a K? I think he was a K. He might have been a K. I remember he was annoying. Way to fight me with a katana. Hmm. All right. Uh, we're going to leave now. We are going to step outside. And I want you to be, uh, to be honest with you, good. I want you to be aggressive. The gaps, I kill more than you. Uh, I'll race you to it. Okay, let's. Okay, fine. Now be passive. Your call. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's a little weird, isn't it? We've. We, we've got some evidence for Captain Skull, but we also have Arthur Ribbon to deal with. I... Nellis Air Force Base. We've got a quest up there, you know. Where's the base? Where is it? Where's the... Where is the base? It's up there. It's for the Brotherhood of Steel. It's Veronica's old family. We're supposed to be finding some... What happened to some paladin? You want to go check it out? Or should we... Head off to Novak. I'll tell you what, before we head to Novak anyway, we should probably go and um, take this evidence. Oh, and we also got the reward for John Alvord. Yeah, short fuse. Where the hell was that? That was one of the ones that was in deeper in, yeah. What was that quest? Still in the dark. Find the missing Brotherhood Patrol at Nellis AFB. Yeah, it's over there. It's over there. I wonder. Fancy a side trip? Fancy that we... I'm fancying a side trip. Why is that building there? Curiosity is getting to me. You know what? Every time I get curious, things go horribly wrong, don't they? No, you're right. You're absolutely right. No, you're ab totally 100% right. Let's stay on the track, stay on the trail. Well, something terrible will end up happening. Russell, I, I gotta ask you. Should we think about finding another line of business? It's just, it's a kind of depressing business, this, really, when you think about it. 
Sounds all glorious, doesn't it? Gunfighting and taking out the bad guys. But, you know, it's not really, is it? When we finished... Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. When we finished up in Novak with Arthur Ribbon, let's go back to Good Springs and pick up one of the ladies. I just, I need, I need some cheerful company. I need cheering up. And I have to tell you this, Russell. You're not Mr. Cheerful. No, you're not. What can I do for you, young man? You could give me my bounty without obsessing over the finger. Okay. What's the bounty? John Alvord. All right, just give me a moment to check out the finger. Yeah, there you nailed we go with the right. finger again. He was slowing down, and that's a profession that doesn't take kindly to aging. Well, he killed Doc, so I'm not sure how to take that. What can I do for you, young man? We also had... Yes, everyone at the bunker is dead. I found this harmonica lodged in Fisk's mouth. Hmm, I recognize this. Damn, this is bad news, kid. Do you think? I figured that someone might knock off Fisk, but I hadn't planned on this. This harmonica belongs to Sergio Booth. Sergio. Hence the initials. He always leaves these things in the mouths of high-profile victims. He's fast, ruthless, and unpredictable. And now he's here, goddammit. With Fisk gone and the NCR occupied with the war, Sergio has a real opportunity to seize control of the local raiders and crime syndicate. I'm worried that Sergio's presence might be tied to another pressing matter. Just recently, Lieutenant Ramsey went out to recon Valley de Haro. It's a newfound hub for raiders that's tucked away in the sheep range. What really has me worried was Ramsey's last message. He seemed to believe he had sighted Sergio up there. I was skeptical at the time, of course. There's no doubt about it now, though. Sergio's here, and he's probably set up shop in that cesspool. As for Ramsey, I'm fearing the worst. If that's indeed the case, please get his dog tags. I'd advise you to pack plenty of ammo, supplies, and a few well-armed companions. I wish I could spare men, but that's out of the question. Okay. In the old days, we would have run in there guns blazing and hanged the ringleader on sight. Now, with this damn war, we can't do shit. Whatever the risk, you have to take Sergio down. I'm authorizing a reward of 2,000 caps for his finger. Okay, if the that's... money ain't enough, then there's something else. Sergio's rumored to be the half-brother of Marco. I know you had dealings with Stephen Randall before, and there's a lot of bad blood with Marco. I've seen you with that old pistol of Randall's, too. A lot of hard men have pursued Marco, and they all came up empty-handed, and most of them died in the process. If he's alive, then Sergio is your best shot at finding him. So, 2,000 caps and a shot at finding Marco. If that ain't incentive enough, you need to change occupations. Good luck. Well, we've been discussing the whole change of occupations thing, but to be brutally honest with me, with you... Slip of the tongue. Uh, you had me at 2,000 caps. That's kind of a lot of money. And you also had me at finding Marco. All right, we'll, we'll kill Sergio and maybe Marco, right? Then we'll find a new line of work. After we kill Arthur Ribbon. And maybe any of the other bounties if we happen to pass them. But then it's that's it. We're going to go off. We'll do something else. Maybe we could be caravan guard. I wonder if that's an interesting job. First time I saw the caravan, they came under attack from the Legion and absolutely decimated them. Something or someone. No, it doesn't really look like an interesting job, does it? Hey there. Need anything? I do need you to get the gun out of my face, but Sure. Failing. Here's that, what I got. Give me lots of ca Ooh. Okay. Right, I've got some crap for you. Do you have anything that I want? You have stim packs, you have beer, you have cases for free. I'll take those free cases. And that does seem to be, apart from ammo, 
There's a pulse mine, maybe. Let's take the stim packs. Oh, that, that'll, that'll. Let's take some food as well. Why not? So. What was I saying? Novak. Right, off to Novak. Thinking about that Nellis base quest where we've got to get... Seriously, you won't go through this gap? <laughs> catch me, catch me. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Mm. Um, yeah, the Brotherhood quest makes me think we should bring Veronica. I, you, you've not gone out with Veronica. Veronica likes to punch things, and she's very, very good at it. And we're looking for Arthur Ribbon. Now, last time I was here, or not last time I was here, last time I had a major quest here. No, it wasn't this room. This, this is, this is my room. This is my room. I have a room. I think it was one of these, you know. I don't think it was. I think it was one of these. Manny Vargas's room. Hello. Well. Oh, okay. Boone's room. You're not Arthur Ribbon. You know what? We should probably... Shotgun's a little too large and a... You're not Arthur Ribbon. We're looking for Alan somebody or other. Was it here? It might have been here. It might have been this room because it's got... There was a guy who gave us a job in one of these rooms, you see. That's my room. Okay. Okay, where the hell am I supposed to be finding this person? Let's... Find the passage to Valle del Hierro. Nope. Lathe Biosas. Corner this, he's. We have to go around. He's not actually at Novak. He's a little um, north of Novak. Well, that's not true, is it? Novak's probably the whole town now. It's not just the little motel, but I always think of it as the motel. Is it that hot there? Okay. Alright, well then it's not the guy that uh, asked me to find Bradley. Although I know he had a past connected to the Syndicate. Syndicate people hanging around Novak when you think about it. Okay. I'm kind of wanting you to come with me on this one just in case. I have a Rogers Repairs. That was the name he was going under, wasn't it? That was the name he was going under. Um. Alan Rogers from Rogers Repairs. Howdy, Mister. All right. Um. Okay. We're going to need to be delicate here.
I don't suppose you've got like a handy user manual on how the hell we do that, because that's not exactly my go-to move. Okay, um, Mr. Rogers. Well, hello there, stranger. Thanks for stopping by the shop. I'm Alan Rogers, owner and operator. What can I do for you? Um, what price Novak? It's yeah. relatively safe, and I've managed to eke out a living over the years, tinkering and fixing things for traders and travelers. My wife passed a few years ago, and my son was killed fighting those savages at the first battle of the Hoover Dam. That's his picture over on the wall. I tried to dissuade him from joining up. Don't waste good iron for nails or good men for soldiers, I said. He got swept up in it all along with his friends. Now he's gone. And it's just me and Sally, his daughter. Oh, and if you're God. wondering about her mother, it's a dead end. She was a harlot, nothing more. She ran off with some gambler after Brian died, but, but I can't complain. Having Sally here is a reason to keep getting up and trying in spite of it all. Seeing her smile is all the motivation I need. Um, is something the matter with Sally? She doesn't say much. Sally's deaf, I'm afraid. Oh, God. She's got plenty of brains. I mean, she reads every book I can scrounge up, and she's got a sharp wit to boot. Even though she's a fine lip reader, she'd still be helpless out there in the wasteland at her age. If something happened to me, I just don't know. Oh, I God. Tell her how to hunt, skin animals, and fend for herself, but she's still young. She'd be easy prey for raiders or those scum from Caesar's Legion. They don't have much regard for women, much less oh, those God. who are impaired. Guilt me much? Okay. Um, I don't seem to have an option of, um... Okay. I don't have an option of, um... Yeah. Maybe it's... Been an... Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not killing him. I have definitive, definitive proof that you're Arthur Ribbon. I'm taking you in. What about the kid? You can't be serious. That's the most outlandish thing I've heard in years. Do you even have any proof to support such a ridiculous claim? God, I didn't think they could find me after all this time. Mm. Sally, she can't make it alone. I can't go. I'd have to go to trial. The NCR will make a spectacle out of me and my granddaughter will be left alone. No, I'd rather die, frankly. Um... Bleh, for God's sake, don't you have a conscience? Put the damn collar on and I'll hurt you? No. Do you honestly expect to escape justice? You must take responsibility for your crimes. Really? Does he ha I mean, I mean, he's old. He's gonna die soon anyway. He can't have more than two or three more years left in him. Look at him. Face is rougher than my boots. You stand up and piss me off, put the collar on. No. If you refuse to face justice, then you leave me no other option. What? No. I'm going to set you free, but only for the girl's sake. Now, don't you have a conscience? Oh, God, really? Yes, he's a terrible person. Maybe he doesn't have a conscience. But... He's doing the whole guilt thing over the kid, though. God's sake, don't you have a conscience? Because you did some pretty horrible things. Uh... <sighs> I mean, it looks like he's made a complete life for himself. He's been off the radar for years. The only problem is, is the syndicate are using him to get ammo. Fine. You, you would do that? I don't know what to say. I didn't expect it. Please don't tell anyone the things I've done. I'm not going to. Thank you. But goodbye, stranger.
Okay. Did we do the right thing? I mean, he looks pretty harmless now, doesn't he? I mean, he's not going to hurt anyone. Hey. And we're leaving. Okay. Definitely. Once we finish with Sergio and Marco, we're finding a new job. One that in just well, one that still involves a little bit of you know adventure and but preferably slightly less. I don't know what what would you call that? Morally ambiguous situations. It wasn't even morally ambiguous. It was just a huge big guilt trip. <sighs> now that's it. I've made my mind up. We're going back to Good Springs, we're going to find Veronica, and we're going to let her thump people. Because there's something amazingly entertaining and therapeutic about that. Yippee-yay!